Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, subscribe right now. All right, we're gonna wait for you. Everybody, hold on, hold on. All right, you got it? Yes, go. So today, guys, I'm going to be doing what to me would be like a long overdue video. And um, even though I had the sneakers for a while, I think that I kind of wanted to let anybody know, like, you know, basically just, let, let, let's just get into the video. I'll be doing a review on the Balenciaga sneakers. Uh, I believe they're like the track, they're called like track sneakers or whatever. And I've had these for, you know, a few months now. And I just wanted to tell you guys about how they look in person. Like, you know, the reality of getting like beyond Balenciaga's and stuff, you know? So this is the sneaker right here. I know they look so fire. Look, look, look. I had two options. So I wanted to get the black and pink one for these. I don't know, it was something about like the lime green that I was really like kind of infatuated by. So I was like, mm, probably just gonna get this one because I find it really, really cute. So yeah, there it goes. I wanted to tell you the pros about this sneaker. So I feel like this sneaker was very, like very well constructed, like really, really well constructed because it is a very strong sneaker. I don't know if anybody's ever told you that, but this sneaker is definitely formulated in a way that it will last you a really long time. Depending on like what you do with it, like I'm hoping you don't do like extreme sports in these type of sneakers and stuff. So, cause you know, you want to like extend the longevity of these, but I do believe that these sneakers are going to last me a really long time and I barely wear them anyways. So that I guess like that's another thing for me. And yeah, it's very strong, like from the interior to the exterior, like it feels like it's of great, great quality. So yeah, that's another thing about it. Another thing that I like about it is that it came in a baggy, and it, well, it came with a bag, and it also came with a box. So when I say it came with a bag, it, I don't know where the bag is, because maybe if I find it, hold on, let me see if I can find it. Okay, guys, so I can't find a bag. Bruh. Basically, it came with a gray little bag where you can, like, you know, pull the strings out, and it's just one of those. I don't know how to, how to I don't really know how to explain it, but, like, yeah. It came with a little bag, it came with a box, and... Yeah, it, that's somewhere in my closet. I don't really feel like looking for it. So the sneaker has like a little track. Like I said, I thought that this was track and it definitely is a track sneaker. And uh, it has like a, I think like the bottom is really, really cool. Like the, I don't know what you would call this because I don't really know what this material is, but I found it like very cool that and very compelling that it had like this little glow thing on the bottom these sneakers i don't think that they glow in the dark or anything i've never seen them glow but it would have been very cool if they did have that but i do think these sneakers are really cool because you can wear these with like you know you can wear them with dresses you can wear them but not like too formal or too fancy of course but like you can wear these with some dresses some joggers some jeans you can wear this with a lot of outfits like so that's like a plus because it's like you know it's kind of it's, it's not like a super versatile sneaker but it's definitely a versatile sneaker what i do notice about this sneaker is that it definitely, it does look like big on your foot. That's like the reality of the Balenciagas. They do look wide. They make your feet appear to be wide, but there's nothing wrong with it because it doesn't look bad depending on what you wear it with. That's how, that's in my opinion, how I feel about the sneakers. The thing that I dislike about these sneakers is that because of like how it's formulated on these sides, it can feel, uncomfortable like the sneaker i do feel like when i wear it for a while it can be uncomfortable it's not very like the sneaker is not very like comfortable it doesn't have like super good padding like you'll get with like new balances sketchers or like certain adidas and stuff it doesn't have like that that memory foam inside of the sneaker it has a foam of course it has like a little padding and stuff like that, a shoe sole but overall it's not like 
giving you it's not giving you that that real comfort like this is not something that you would come to work with and do like a eight hour shift with no it's it's going to hurt so these sneakers do eventually hurt because they're so like hard and that that's a good word to explain like express how they feel so they're very hard like and i feel like when i first got them of course you can loosen that but like right here the shoelaces you do have to kind of like really loosen them up because because of how like i feel like how it can be, it's not like super tightly compacted but like based off of just how it is it can tend to like squeeze on your foot like eventually like your laces can your laces will squeeze the shit out of your foot and i feel like there's like a lot of sneakers that would do this but mainly i've gotten that with these sneakers and i immediately had to adjust these sneakers like the laces and stuff because but i do like them like you know and they're exactly my size i'm a size nine so in european sizes that would be like what a 40 and i don't know if it's like right here or something yeah like it shows your size in the front right here and just uh yeah overall those are like the that's like the con of the sneaker the cons of the sneaker but i do think that uh, is it worth the money? <laughs> I, uh, I'm thinking like, I think that it is worth the money. Just, I don't think that this is, this should be your first option. If you are like, you don't really, you can't afford it basically. Like if you are just trying to show off in front of people, I mean, that's your prerogative. You do what you want with your money. Can't nobody tell you what to do with your money. But I do feel like you should definitely go go towards more comfort, like a more comforting sneaker. If you're not, like if you really can't, if it's not in your 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 tax bracket, basically. Like you can't afford it, don't do it, you know, like don't buy them. But I did get them. And I think these are, I'm not sure how much they were in total, but yeah, they are expensive. And um, yeah, this is how they look. And they're pretty cool. I will, if I can, I'll try to get a little snapshot of how they look on my foot so you guys can kind of get an idea. And as for like socks, I do wear them with thin, thin, like thin socks. I don't wear them with like thick socks. Not that I can't, it's just more comfortable because I told you like how. But either way, I feel like it feels good with like, it could feel good with thicker socks, but then I prefer to just wear them with thinner socks because I told you everything is just like so hard inside. So like, I feel like the more you you get like a thicker sock, the less space you're gonna have in the shoe and it's just gonna give you problems, kind of gonna press up on your foot and stuff. Not saying that this is not my wrong size because this is my exact size and it fits nicely. It's just, you kind of gotta get used to it. Like around it, it's just very hard. Every part of it is hard. And it's really yeah, that's it. But, uh, is it worth it? I think that it was worth it for myself because I've been wanting these for a while and I got them for my birthday. So yeah, I think they were worth it to me, but I feel like this is in like, in reality, it's not something that you just go and you, if you, if you want to, you go ahead and you do it. But like, this is not something that I would keep on purchasing and purchasing and purchasing. Like I want the white one and that's probably it for it. Like, like I, of course I want the white ones because they're cute and they're basic, like whatever. But I would probably get a, try to go ahead and look for like, you know, a New Balance or a Nike or, you know, some type of white sneaker that kind of, you know, it, it kind of is similar in a like, but overall I do think these are really nice and they are going to last very long. So yeah, that's up to you. Let me show you guys how they look now.
Okay guys, so that was pretty much it for the video. I mean, there's nothing much you could say. It's not like a whole haul or anything, but I just wanna know. I just wanted to let you guys know how the sneakers are, you know, just like whether or not it's worth it. I think it is. I would say that it is a good investment because it does last long, but like I said, there's always new models and you know, you probably gonna find something that you want more than those in reality. But yeah, I would say that I would get another one, so who am I to speak? But that's just my suggestion to you if you do want to save money or you can't really afford it or you really want to just like get something a little bit more affordable, you know? But yeah, I do love you guys. And if you do like the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and catch me in my next video. Bye guys, love you.